Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. I'm running into this um, scenario quite a bit lately where people complain about Wi Fi performance and they're testing with laptops, tools, phones, whatever. And I just want to do a quick presentation to illustrate that they are obviously all different different antennas, different radios, different radio characteristics. I'm not even going to get into the access point side of it and, you know, the channel width and beam forming. All that stuff comes into play. So the easiest thing to do, instead of getting mired in all the technical stuff right now, is to simply do a test. And that will illustrate exactly what I just said. So in this case, we've got a phone, Samsung Galaxy S10e. We've got a laptop, it's an Alienware. And we've got a NetAlly AirCheck G3. And you can do this with obviously anything. So this is what I chose. Just pay attention to methodology. Don't get caught up on, oh, why'd you use a laptop? Why'd you use that phone? What about Apple? Don't, don't, don't worry about that, all right? So let's jump right into it. So here's the setup. We've got a layout with uh, two uh, PCs, I'll call them right now, an iPerf client and an iPerf server. Uh, I wanted to make sure everything was working okay through the switch, just to make sure you know everything's cool. I did a quick sh uh, screenshot of the task manager on both of them. And that just validated to me that the server was working okay, the switch is okay, the network is working fine, uh, and that kind of thing. So it doesn't matter what that throughput was right now. I just want to make sure things worked because the real test is going to be with the wireless stuff. So now we're going to introduce our wireless access point. And at the time, those four clients on the wireless network, I made a, just a few notes that was given to me by the air check. And, and you don't have to get too carried away right now because everybody knows Wi-Fi changes on a whim anyways. So don't, don't worry about it. Just document that, whatever you got in your head, and move on. I even wrote down that the, I was about 25 feet from the access point. Now, if you have multiple access points with the same SSID, you might want to document uh, the MAC address of the access point you're on. But that's it. That's it. Let's move on to the next one. We've got our test results with the NetAlly tool. And all I did was literally an iPerf3 test up and down. And I documented five results, do as many as you want. I dropped the high, I dropped the low, I averaged a three. That's my, that's my MO. And I'll just document the averages on the last slide. Now, the NetAlly device, if you've never seen it before, gives you all sorts of cool information. It emails you the results, that kind of thing. Like the, I think the point to make here is if you use a tool, always use the same tool. Don't go from one tool to another tool to another tool and then expect the same thing. You're not, right? You're not going to get that. This is the Samsung Galaxy S10. Same deal. I use the Wi-Fi Analyzer Android app to tell me a little bit about the radio stats. Again, I just took a screenshot, right? I'm not getting caught up in writing, you know, novels of information here. And there's a screenshot of the iPerf client called Magic iPerf and gave me the results as well. And lastly, with the Alienware laptop, again, I made sure it wasn't physically plugged in, obviously, and it was using Wi-Fi. Drop the high, drop the low, average of three. And I use good old Homedale portable app to give me some Wi-Fi statistics as well. That being said, let's go straight to the last slide. And that is the results. So you can see the air check at 31 meg up and 28 down. The Galaxy was 26 up and the Alienware 26 up and then 25 and 33 down. Now, it doesn't matter what the numbers are, right? I, I strongly encourage you to do this test. It's a very simple test, right? You can even do this at home uh, with your laptop and your tablet and your phone or even your, your laptop in different rooms, right? That kind of thing. Simple site survey stuff. So I strongly encourage you to whatever tool you use, please make sure you use the same tool. Please make sure you use the same software and make sure you have the same methodology every single time. There you go, folks. Have a good day. Bye for now.